So today we are going to revisit an oldie but goodie, which is installing the Diodynamics Sea Lights into your 2015 WRX or STI. It'll work for both. Isn't that cool? So these boards are designed to sit behind this clear diffuser. From the factory, it's just a single little bulb up here. Not very bussin', very mid. So what we're gonna do is install the sea light board that takes up the whole area. It also does the DRL or daytime running light function. So when your car is started and the e-brake is down or if it's CVT, it's in drive, this whole area will light 100% pure white LED. When the low beams or parking lights on, so that first and then second click of the headlight stock, they'll go to 60% brightness. That's just so you don't blind people coming towards you. And then you also have the option to use this as a secondary turn signal. So you just plumb this into the factory turn signal wire and it lights up a bright amber color. In my viewpoint, it's pretty much like a mandatory upgrade. If you have one of these cars, it just looks so much better. Even if you don't paint or do halos or anything, just that simple upgrade really gives the car a more modern touch and feel. So these headlights are already apart, but if you're looking to know how to take your headlights apart, check out this link right up there. Today though, we're more worried about this bad boy. So uh, we are gonna be painting these, so I'm not super concerned about the finish, but we do need to take the sea light insert out. So if you flip this over on the back, you'll see one, two, three, four, five spots where the sea light is snapped in. The ones that really retain or hold it on are gonna be the two that are furthest out. So I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers to push those through. And this one isn't really on there like super tight, so you can just kind of pull that and it's usually gonna come off all by itself. So from here, I usually just go ahead and pull the top out, pull the bottom out, and then usually just work this corner up and then the top. And that's it. So these are Depot brand lights. If you have the factory ones, the factory ones tend to come out a little easier. So get on you. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the painted headlight set. For the customer that we have, they wanted them painted fully black and also we have a heart halo, you'll see that. If you're interested in installing halos or heart halos, check out this other video that'll show you how to do that. All right, so we are switched over at this point to this one. So let's go ahead and grab our diode sea lights and see what we're in for. So let's see what we got here from diode. So I did already take these out of the ESD bag they come in. So we have the left and right side boards. So these sea light drivers, what these do is they actually take the raw power that we input and then dull them down to the correct amount for the sea lights. So those are very important. And then we also have our wiring bag. So these are the input wires. So just like the instruction sheet says, we have the ground black wire, the DRL red wire, the white parking light wire, and the yellow turn signal wire. They did include these T-taps. We don't use these just because they're not the most waterproof or reliable option. We'll show you more about that wiring later. Uh, they also include some nice stickers and the install sheet which is a little less detailed than what we're gonna go into. So we're gonna go ahead and put the wiring to the side for now and focus on the boards and the headlights. So we're gonna start with the passenger side here. These come with the wires like pretty far pressed down. Obviously that's gonna make it really hard to install. So I'm just gonna tug them up a little bit. You don't wanna pull too tight. We don't wanna pull these off the board. And the next thing that I always do is I actually push the sheathing up further. So with the sea light, cover installed because it's clear you will see the yellow wire sticks out like a sore thumb so the further up we can move this to cover that the better off the finished product looks snug it up and there we go all the way tight on the back of that once again just be careful with all the stuff they are small wires you don't want to pull them off so the next thing that i'm going to do is if you look at the sea light itself it kind of wraps around just like the headlight does. It starts at one spot and kind of curves over. So these, if you put them in there, you're gonna see that this spot right here kind of sticks out pretty far, not just because the wiring's pushing it, but just the shape. So these are semi-flexible boards. So what I'll always do with these is just kind of like carefully use my hand to put a little bit of a curve to it. Now this is pretty exaggerated. It doesn't need to be that much, but I feel like if you give it a little bend there, it's just gonna make the installation itself a lot easier. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just clean the sea lights real quick. These usually come a little bit dusty, so I just wanna make sure that we get any sort of contaminants or dust dirt out of the headlight. So I'm just using some quick detailer on this. You'll also see like a little bit of that clear diffused coating that they put on top of the LEDs. Uh, you know, they can't get it 
100% perfect every time. So we're just gonna clean a little bit of that off the edges. And you can see there, a little bit of dust on those guys. Nothing crazy. So we have our wires hidden. We have a slight bend of the sea light. It's nice and clean. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the housing. The sea light wiring is gonna go right where that factory bulb sits. Now, I don't recommend replacing the bulb with this wiring. So what I mean by that is, as far as moving this to the outside of the headlight, we're gonna drill a separate hole. And the reason for that is, if we don't plug that hole in the back, it is gonna let any sort of water, liquid, or other contaminants in the headlight. Secondly, if water bridges that plug on the outside of the headlight, uh, it could cause some issues with our electric. So I am just using this to route the wiring to the other part of the headlight internals. So now's the time where we get a little up close and personal. I like to do this on my lap. It's a nice flat surface right in front of myself and I'll show you a little trick and why I do that. Here's where we're at. As you can see, if we try to do this on a flat surface, sometimes the wire will push this up. So a little trick that I have is just moving the wire to the inside of my leg. And in doing that, it kind of keeps tension. The housing is pinching the wire between my leg and keeping it right where we want it to be. Now, we like to have the sea light inside this more transparent area of the diffuser instead of way out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it right in this little canal, if you will. So at this point, the only things we really have to worry about when snapping this on are ensuring that all the tabs are in the openings, especially the ones on top. Uh, if you don't have those lined up and go to push it, it may scratch the paint, especially if it is hanging over the top. So the best way that I found to do this is start with these two further back and kind of just very, very slightly insert those tabs. Now we're gonna move to the top. So the top will want to hit this upper eyebrow portion of the headlight housing. So we're gonna push it under a little bit. And then lastly, the bottom one. Now we want tension on all five of these clips at the same time. So I'm gonna use my thumb on the bottom one, my four other fingers on the top, and then this hand is gonna push on this part. And it's just one movement, very firm. One, two, three. So we got a nice click there. So bottom snapped in all the way. We wanna make sure that, that connector hook is kind of around this. Now this one's always gonna be a little bit of a problem child. The reason for that is the sea light board itself kind of blocks the diffuser from going on all the way. So what we found to circumvent that is, we'll just take a small hook, put it under the sea light and just push it away from the back of the headlight housing. Just like that. So now it's part of this front diffuser. I'm gonna go ahead and Snap that one in and now we can see it's nice and tight, flush all the way, and that back hook is over. We also see the sea light is nice in line with that clear, more transparent area of the cover. Gucci. Now's the part where I ask you if you wanna take the red pill or the blue pill, because there is one more step you can do to ensure that the sea light diffuser is nice and tight, not gonna wiggle off with any road vibration, and on top of that, just have a nice long life. So if you wanna just use it as it is, we just popped it in, just like factory, we're good. Uh, the other part that I've seen just over the years of doing this uh, from other installs is sometimes because we have this extra mass, this extra piece behind the diffuser, with road vibration and the tension of that piece under there, it could push off the sea light cover just very slightly. So what we're gonna do and what we always do with these is you can either glue using JB Quick Weld or you can plastic weld just using a soldering iron. We're gonna use that route is just make sure that these hooks, the top and bottom corners, boop, boop, are really solid in place. So let me show you how to do that. How these hooks come out is just like we talked, pushed them over before, is if you push them this way, this disengages this overlapping area and allows it to come out. Uh, so once again, just this tension here, sometimes from road vibration, this could wiggle loose. So all I'm gonna do is just fill in this opening so that this has nowhere to, it can't move over and disengage. Same with the top here. So how I'll do that is just take a tip of the soldering iron. We use like this flat head tip 
and just move a little bit of the plastic over there. So we can see that area that was open is now filled with a little bit of plastic. Like I said, it's just a, a touch that it needs to make sure that it doesn't pop off over time. And same with this one, is I'm just gonna push a little plastic down. That is locked in place. I feel very comfortable that this is gonna stay there forever. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of wiring and show you guys what these look like when the headlights are lit up. Thank you guys for popping into our diode sea light install. If you guys want to check these out on our site, the link is below. Just a friendly reminder as well. We have a bunch of merch. It's pretty cool. There's some tie dye ones, huh? Get your drag race on. So yeah, check it out. If you guys have any other suggestions of what you want to see, please comment below. We always look forward to those. Until next time.